took me a great deal of willpower not to turn on the camera until I got to a new, fresh location. I'm going towards Valado Quinteria. Mosqueiros. Okay, nice. So what am I on about? What am I thinking? As if it mattered. Well, it all started with me thinking about how embarrassing it is to have so much stuff posted on Facebook. <laughs> I was thinking, oh my God, I really should go through my Facebook and like delete 90% of it. But then I thought, why? It's kind of sad to have a private diary that nobody's ever going to see. It's not about like wanting attention, but you know, it's out there. People can get a sense of your ideas, thoughts, and feelings, and if it repulses them, if it's repugnant to them, they can just click away. So who cares? <laughs> and then your 10 or 20 real friends who actually don't mind your bullshit will get amused by it every once in a while when the algorithm sends them over to your to your uh, wall. <laughs> I mean, I was reading a bit by uh, Taibi, Matt Taibi. Oh dear. And he was uh, saying that some writers are less honest than others. And you know when you're reading their book, especially nonfiction books, that it's basically a, a resume. They're writing a book to help them level up in whatever game they're playing and make a career move get more money, more fame, whatever, more attention. And uh, the honest writers, yeah, they take a huge risk uh, because they put themselves out there. So if you, if you are just naked and open, it's, it might be tough for you. It depends on your circle of friends, what, what you do for a living and all that. Um, status is important to some people, so it's much more important to mask everything and fit in properly, and not offend the people you shouldn't offend, so that you can have that Halston apartment in Manhattan someday uh, that's just so tasteful that it, it intimidates. If that's important to you, that's fine. Uh, it's like the difference between a LinkedIn account and a Facebook, you know? I'm gonna make my LinkedIn my constant career move. That's transparent. You know, the mask that's a nice little cafe. I like it. Um, you look at that and you don't go, oh yeah, that's who that guy really is. But it doesn't matter because everyone knows you're using LinkedIn as a tool to level up in the career game. So, you know, is it appropriate to share your children's photos and cats on Facebook? Well, I guess because you can control who gets to see it more or less, right? So instead of deleting all the content on your Facebook, you might just want to go through it and delete a whole bunch of people that don't really matter to you and aren't, aren't important to you and uh, don't know you, will never know you. The algorithms will never send them to your wall 
<laughs> you know what I mean? At the end of the day, everything boils down in social media to your little bubble, your silo anyway. So you got five real friends in real life spread out across the world and maybe one person you can talk to where you are and some colleagues that you can joke with or whatever. And it's the same on Facebook. You have the same five people who say, ooh, that was funny, or, oh, I was thinking about that too, or something. The rest of the people, it's just empty, you know. It's somebody, you look at the side and it says, you're followed by 117 people, or whatever. But you never hear from them, you know, and then those pictures keep changing, you know, who's getting the algos this week? <laughs> that guy, okay, he saw a post. But there's really no deep interaction except when you uh, do it through personal messaging or whatever, or voice over IP, or video over IP, you know, all the apps. So what the hell, you know? Might as well just be transparent. If the bad guys are going to get to you, they'll get to you. Very few of us have the resources to protect ourselves from the man.